Brian Golish back. This is update number two uh, from a shoulder surgery, labrum, and rotator cuff that took place on Thursday, October 11th, 2018. Today is Monday, October 15th. I'm just about four days removed, 96 hours from my procedure um, to repair a torn rotator cuff and a 12 to 6 tear of my labrum. All things considered, the pain has subsided substantially. Um, not really taking any pain meds anymore except for my ibuprofen, my 600 milligram ibuprofen. The, the Percocets, they're done. I might take a half of one before I go to sleep at night just to get through the evenings. But really after Saturday, I felt a lot better. Um, had a rough time on, on Saturday itself during the day. Um, I don't know if it was because I didn't eat or what, but a little nausea in my stomach. But all things considered, this surgery compared to the one I had two years ago on my right shoulder for the same exact thing is going a lot smoother. Um, I actually have a follow-up with Dr. Frank next Monday, the 22nd of October. That'll be um, 10 days post-op. And the following day, that Tuesday, the 23rd, I will actually begin my physical therapy and that physical therapy at the time for the first two or three weeks will be a lot of stretching, a lot of range of motion, a lot of icing, electronic stim and massage therapy. I really won't get into heavy duty PT of any type of weight lifting or, or motion, things like that until week three or four of my recovery. Remember, I've got three or four anchors inside here. I'm not sure exactly for my labrum. I've got the bovine patch on the rotator cuff to help in the repair of that. So um, right now, I'm not icing it. I'm done with the big ice machine. I've just been using some bagged vegetables actually out of the freezer to put on after I do my exercise, which right now, uh, four times a day, I do four sets of 25 clockwise and counterclockwise as well as my pendulum with a soup can or a tomato uh, paste or tomato sauce can, um, just rotating and, and letting it go. And breaking that up so I don't get that shoulder locked up, which would really cause a lot of problems. I had a little bit of a problem with range of motion in 2016 when I had the right shoulder done. So you can see now, um, all things considered, the way the, the shoulder looks, this down here, it's a lot worse and it, it doesn't, doesn't hurt at all. It just bruised from where the bandages were at following the surgery. But my four incision points, one, two, three, and then in the back is my fourth. Um, it's bruised still a little bit. Again, this looks a lot worse than it really is. I'm in my sling right now. I'll be in my sling for four weeks. Icing periodically, doing my exercises four times a day. Listen, if you're thinking about having this surgery, um, the fear is in looking things up online, listening to people who have had an unfortunate um, situation or some type of rare side effect that caused them extreme pain, whether it's an infection or they're not listening to the doctor's recommendations. Uh, but again, 96 hours ago, you know, I was in surgery right now, um, exactly right now, and um, I feel a lot better than I did two years ago. I can tell you that. It was about a week, week and a half until I got that pain to go away. Now, again, half a Percocet gets me through the night. Uh, I'm not taking any during the day, just taking my aspirin and my ibuprofen, doing my exercises and icing and, and relaxing and uh, just let my body heal. So uh, any questions or comments, hit the comment button below. Ask me. I'll be back uh, in a couple days to give you another update. Hopefully by then I can show you some exercises that are being done um, and that bruising goes down. I think it will. So have a great day.